For those in search of a compact, robust, and simultaneously affordable thermal imaging camera but find this piece from Hike Micro a bit too small and sensitive, I might have just the right thing for you today. Specifically, we're talking about the new Eco series from Hike Micro, and today I'll be testing it for you, a handheld thermal imaging camera that's not only compact and extremely durable, but also relatively budget friendly. What we can truly expect from this device, how it performs in practical use, and for whom an investment would be worthwhile, we'll thoroughly explore in today's video. So, without further ado, let's not waste any time and dive right into it after the intro. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for free and activate the notification bell to ensure you never miss a video again. You can find the current prices as usual in the video description below. Thank you for your support and now, let's get started after the intro. The dedicated viewers of this channel will surely remember this piece here, the incredibly compact thermal imaging camera from Hike Micro. It's an extremely small yet highly powerful device. The only drawback, of course, is that this extremely small thermal imaging camera doesn't come with a built-in display. Instead, we always need a smartphone to operate the device. However, for those who say, I need to perform regular measurements, but I don't want to constantly attach and detach my smartphone, I've got just the thing for you today. We're talking about a handheld thermal imaging camera with a built-in display, the Eco Series from Hike Micro. We'll thoroughly examine this device in today's video. Before I forget, if you haven't seen the video about this little mini camera yet, I highly recommend checking it out. I'll link it up here on the top right corner of the info card. It's definitely worth watching. So that covers the mini camera. Now let's take a detailed look at the Compact Hike Micro Eco. As you can see, there's nothing particularly special on the product box. That's precisely why we'll dive right into the contents of the package. As you can see, the package includes the usual paperwork, user manuals in multiple languages, and a calibration certificate. Additionally, very well protected by thick foam, here's the actual thermal imaging camera, the Hike Micro Eco, and last but not least, in another box, a USB Type-A to USB Type-C charging cable. That's it. There's nothing more to it, and we don't need anything more. No batteries, no display, or the like. All of this is already built into this thermal imaging camera. This means that the device is ready for use right away. For this reason, let's take a closer look at the robust and cost-effective thermal imaging camera from Hike Micro, the Eco Series. The first thing that stands out is, of course, that with the Eco Series, unlike this mini camera, we have a handheld device. This means that everything necessary for operation is integrated into this device. That includes a display, a battery, so the device is ready for use without needing a smartphone or any other devices. The key feature of this device, apart from the built-in sensor that we'll examine in detail shortly, is its usability. And on this note, I must say that Hike Micro has done a very good job. The thermal imaging camera, in my opinion, is very comfortable to hold. It features an ergonomic handle that's comfortable even for larger hands. The entire unit is rubberized in black. From top to bottom, it's completely rubber coated, making the grip very non-slip. And moreover, the device weighs around 300 grams, making it extremely lightweight. Other external specifications include an IP54 certification, which means the device is entirely splash proof. And it's designed to withstand falls of up to 2 meters. In other words, it's very rugged and well suited for everyday use. However, to truly function as a daily companion, the operation should be relatively simple. If I have to spend hours fiddling around before I can perform the first measurement, it's not very practical. For this reason, let's now take a closer look at the controls and overall operation of the device. On the front, just below the Eco label, we have a roughly 2.3 inch display and directly beneath it, the essential elements, a total of four rubberized buttons. Lastly, on the other side, the most important button, the main trigger, is highlighted in red for the index finger, used to initiate measurements. 
There are no more controls on this thermal imaging camera. A button to initiate measurements, one for power on and off, an upward arrow, a downward arrow for navigating the menu, and of course, a return button. These are all the controls on this device. In this regard, I must say that the practical operation of the camera is quite comfortable. The buttons on the control panel are adequately sized, having a satisfying tactile response, and are made entirely of rubber. This means it's easy to navigate through the menu quickly and efficiently. Speaking of the menu, I must say that in my opinion, there's absolutely nothing to criticize about Hike Micro Eco's menu. Let's briefly take a look at the menu by pressing the menu button down here. We're taken directly into the settings. As you can see, everything is neatly organized and sufficiently large. It's available in multiple languages, making each option easily readable. Right at the top, I can review the recording I've made, and I can turn on Super Resolution ER mode. I'll touch on that in a moment. Then, down here, we have various color palettes. I can set a temperature alarm and the like. In essence, with a single click, I can make various adjustments to this device quite effortlessly. Not to forget, the arrangement on the display is very well organized in my opinion. The most important information is always directly displayed. At the top right corner, we have the battery status, and to the left of it, we see all the temperatures. The center temperature at the central measurement point, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, and the color temperature scale. Similar to the Mini 2, the Hike Micro also has a field of view of 50 by 50 degrees. This allows for capturing larger objects completely at a relatively close distance. In terms of temperature ranges, the Eco surpasses the Mini 2. With this device, you can measure temperatures ranging from negative 20 to a maximum of 550 degrees Celsius, enabling the regular monitoring of higher temperatures. Regarding the sensor and the Eco, it has a resolution of 96 by 96 pixels. This isn't a very high resolution, especially when compared to the smaller one with 256 by 192 pixels at the back, which is almost twice as much. The pixel pitch here is 12 micrometers and the spectral range is 7.5 to 14 micrometers, equivalent to the small mini camera at the back. One might assume that the images or image quality would be only half as good as the Mini 2 due to the lower resolution. However, that's not entirely the case. The Eco employs built-in software optimization that enhances the resolution from 96 by 96 pixels to an effective 240 by 240 pixels after optimization. Hike Micro calls this Super ER, and it's automatically applied to the live feed on the display as well as the recordings made with this device. By the way, the camera has a frame rate of 25 Hz. This, like the Mini 2, provides a smooth image resolution and practice for real observation and monitoring. In the settings, it's possible to deactivate the so-called Super Resolution or Super ER function. By default, this function is enabled. I don't see any reason why one would want to disable it, especially considering that it enhances the resolution. From a practical standpoint, I must say that I personally couldn't perceive any noticeable difference between having it on and off with my own eyes. The camera consistently produces good images, allowing details to be discerned even at this resolution. From practical experience, I can say that the built-in sensor, or rather the entire camera, performs quite well. The camera has an accuracy of plus or minus 2 degrees, just like the small Mini 2 at the back, albeit with a significantly wider temperature range from negative 20 to as high as 550 degrees Celsius, making it suitable for a much broader range of applications. Concerning the quality, I find that the device or the captured images are more than sufficient for their intended purpose, providing an overview and capturing quick snapshots. This functionality works exceptionally well. As mentioned earlier, with a frame rate of 25 Hz, the images are smoothly displayed on the screen. The device is equipped with a 4GB storage, and since the images aren't very large, you can take thousands of pictures before the storage fills up. The battery depletes first. The device has a built-in battery with a capacity of 3350 mAh. In practice, this allows the device to operate continuously for about 6 hours. The current battery status is indicated by a small symbol in the top right corner, and the device can be charged or data can be transferred through a USB Type-C port on the top, extremely convenient in that regard. 
Lastly, I almost forgot to mention, the camera has an integrated laser positioned directly above the built-in image sensor. This laser enables precise point measurements. This means the center point in the image aligns accurately with the laser point. I've also tested this functionality multiple times in practice. So far, so good. That concludes our look at the compact handheld thermal imaging camera from Hike Micro, specifically the new Eco series. My recommendation definitely goes out to those who are in search of an extremely compact, handy, and cost-effective device. Now it's your turn. What thermal imaging camera are you using? Feel free to share your feedback in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. And with that, we're done with this video. If you liked it, please show your appreciation with a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for free and activate the notification bell to ensure you never miss a video in the future. You can find the current prices in the video description below. Thank you for your support, and with that, take care and see you next time.